Hi guys, it's me and Keith again. So this time we are going to do a little very short session to raise awareness about something that uh, many dentists will obviously experience, therapists and and dental professional uh, professionals. Uh, and you know we we see part of the community people come with wonderful questions, uh, asking very confidential questions sometimes on the anonymous posting. And I thought, why not? Let's let's get Keith involved because he obviously there is a man who can help or there's a group of people that can help in a background that many people might not even be aware of so Keith if you can just give us a quick intro of what what this is all about that would be amazing okay thank you Peter well uh through my work with Right Path 4 I've met an awful lot of dentists and and I have to say that some of them have got uh, quite a lot of anxiety about uh, the business of dentistry uh, and the sort of thing that uh, I am well aware of is that a dentist may be worried uh, it's a Sunday evening and they're thinking about having to go back to work on a Monday uh, and uh, all of that that entails. Or you've been away on holiday and the last two days of your holiday are worried about what you're going to find letters wise on your doormat when you get home. Are you going to find that letter from the GDC? So it's, it's central to most of our concerns as dental professionals these days and there's an awful lot of anxiety about so what i decided to do was to set up a helpline um, which is anonymous and that's why we called it confidential because it is completely confidential and it means okay. a dentist sorry uh, peter you ask uh, yeah, yeah yeah carry on carry on that's yeah. it. it it means that if if you're a dentist or um, a therapist or hygienist and those are the three groups that we've concentrated on at the moment. If you've got a concern, um, then you can ring the number and you can speak to a dental professional, someone who has likely met that sort of situation before and can understand. We won't ask your name. We won't ask what practice you're working in or where in the country you're working from. We provide a listening line, a, help, a helping line, we don't actually, we're not set up to provide advice, although having said that, if we think there is an obvious um, number which you, we can give you to contact, we, we will give you that number or name of a person that you can speak to, to get instant advice from. Uh, so if I can uh, share my screen with you, I can show you, uh, can you see that there, Peter? Not just yet. Let me see if I might need to enable you to okay. screen share. Uh, here you go. Where are you, Keith? So to make you a co-host. So hopefully that will allow you to screen share now. If you try again. Okay. Let's uh, share my screen. Yep. I think okay. That works. Good. That so. Works. Um, that's our website. Uh, Confidential was set up uh, just over four years ago. Uh, myself and three other dentists, Jeremy Cooper, Jenny Pinder, Lauren Harry, uh, we'd all recognised and come across this sort of situation where colleagues have actually been suicidal or extremely anxious. Uh, and so we set this up. I was the trustee and we funded it through Right Path 4. It's now, I'm, I'm pleased to say, been funded through other wonderful organizations um, like Wesleyan and various other different uh, local area teams uh, uh, who have also uh, volunteered and sent money. So we've got about 40 dentists which we've trained uh, and the system operates 24-7, 365 days a year with three dental professionals online at any one time. So you just ring the number and it cascades through those three professionals and, and should be answered, hopefully within about 30 seconds. And then you're free to just speak to us. It would be nice to do a live demo of that. That would be quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe yes, next. OK. Yeah. Uh, and then um, also we are looking for uh, new volunteers as well. Uh, we do provide a couple of days worth of training to help you understand the trauma of someone uh, that is wanting to speak to uh, Confidential and how to handle that call and listen to the person without interrupting them. Um, uh, and then 
uh, to try to help them work out a, a possible solution for themselves. That's the most important thing, really. So that's how it works. Have a look at the confidential uh, helpline.org website. Uh, and this is our telephone number is 0333-987-5158. And I promise you, it's confidential. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much, Keith, for that. So what I'm going to do with this video, it will be distributed again to DPMS community. It will be added to our YouTube channel and also embedded in Dental Compliance Hub. So I'll put button directly there for people. If they do need the call, they can just click directly from the website and make that phone call. Uh, uh, like Keith said, it's it's free of charge. Yeah, dentists helping yes. each other. And so if you do struggle, anything that you need to talk about, like, like I said, if you feel down and you need support, then probably a good place to find that support. And obviously, you know, we, we're there to help as well. The dental practice management solutions community is there. People help each other. There is an anonymous posting function within the community. And, and I do keep that data anonymous. I mean, it doesn't go out to anyone else. Uh, and after a while, we literally just delete because it's an online form that it's submitted and it's being deleted. And again, uh, I'm just now having another idea, actually, Keith. So this, they do come to my head while <laughs> I do the talking very often. Uh, and what about if we add additional maybe question or checkbox on on our anonymous posting uh, form saying, do you feel that you would benefit from speaking from uh, with someone from uh, Confidential? And then maybe if they say yes, they would like to speak to someone. We can then get the consent to basically forward the contact details or give them just the number ah, to call. No, we have yeah. to be diff uh, have to be careful actually. People, yeah, I'm thinking probably easier to give them a number to to call. Yes. Basically, so I think you just have to give them access to the number so yeah. that they can ring us because when yeah. they ring us, uh, their number doesn't appear anywhere. Yes, uh, yeah, we don't know who they are. Makes sense. Uh, Okay. Let's keep it fully confidential then in that sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's uh what what I will do is basically if someone express interest to maybe having that conversation where they they need that uh, support, uh, the number pops up and it allows them to dial it from directly Perfect. from the phone, maybe. because uh, obviously if we can help save one life, then that's uh, to me, mm -hmm. that's the mission accomplished, yeah. Yes. So I appreciate uh, thanking, thanking, thank you for mentioning, uh, and thank you for allowing me to be part as well, and and, and being able to spread that message. Keith. Oh, thank you, Peter. Yeah. I really Great. Thanks a lot, and uh, let's stop the recording and publish another video. All right. <laughs>